What's up guys? So, this is always the most fun time of the year. It's breeding season. And uh, <laughs> this right here in front of me is my largest male. Not necessarily my most aggressive male, I'm not gonna say that, but he's definitely my largest. And he can be a bit of a handful. He's in his cage, he's in the cage right now with a female. He's been breeding with her for several days. Um, I'm pulling her out because I'm getting ready to leave town and I want to give him some food and just give him a break. So, and you can see that, see what I mean? He's not small, y'all. Using the hook. See, he wants a piece of me. <laughs> He's not happy. I'm going over here to his cage. Okay. All right. There we go. <laughs> there. I'll bring you guys over and show you. I'm by myself, so it doesn't always. Doesn't always translate, but there you go. He's back in his cage. He's, uh, he's not real pleased. Um, it can go worse than that, guys. It can be easier, but it can definitely go worse. And uh, this is why a lot of retic breeders, and they won't admit this, this is why they keep their males small. They don't wanna worry about this kind of thing. They, wanna, they don't want to have to worry about a big male and dealing with them, especially during breeding season. Even though, once again, retics are supposed to be big. <laughs> so, there you go. This is my Lemon Glow male, uh, the father of my Lucy's. Um, I have no idea, gen I genuinely have no idea how long he is. He's probably about 60, 70 pounds. Um, he's a very, very strong, healthy snake. And uh, when he doesn't want to go somewhere, it's not easy to, to work on them. So anyways, guys, there you go. A little action for you today. Have a great one.